Good morning, it's Doug for Vermont Hoyas, and welcome to my water rooting experiment with Hoyas. Um, it's taken me a long time to get around to finally giving this a try because, quite frankly, I've never um, had a lot of faith in it and I've just put it off and put it off. But by popular demand, I'm finally going to give it a try and we will see what happens. This is October. 21st 2018 and I just took these cuttings and we are going to see the one that I'm the most interested in seeing if it, they form roots is the white Hoya Bella which is right here you can remember from my rooting powder experiment that after 35 days I had nothing to show for it so these are fresh fresh cuttings two of them and they are in RO water um, which has removed all the minerals and um, chlorine so um, we're going to start out with good water and see what happens so I decided if I was going to try that plant I might as well put a few others and see wh how they would behave this is Hoya Vitalina um, took a cutting of that and we'll see what happens this is uh, Hoya Engel Rihanna Vietnam I'd like to start another one of those plants, so it'd be great if they did root, but it won't be any huge loss if I if they don't root. And then I decided to take a Hoya Locky cutting for the heck of it and see how that um, works. So I'll be back probably in about a month or so, and we will see if I've made any progress in gaining any roots on these plants. Like I said, I don't have a lot of faith in it, but maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. See you soon. Good morning. It's Doug from Vermont Hoyas. It's Sunday, November 11th, 2018, and I'm back 20 days later on my water rooting experiment for Hoyas. And to say that I'm kind of in shock is, is an understatement. Um, I don't really even know where to begin. Um, so let's just take a look at these plants after only after only 20 days. Um, here is Hoya Lockei. You can see the roots, strong roots beginning on, on that one. This one took the longest of all of them to start, um, start rooting. Here is Hoya Engelriana Vietnam. Check the roots on that after only 20 days. It's just kind of like mind blowing. Now here's one for the for the books. Hoya Vitalina, uh, Vitalina <laughs> excuse me, um, not only has put on this massive amount of roots in 20 days, but it also decided to form a pentacle and, and butt up. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. Still kind of in shock trying to figure it out. Now for the one that's the most mind blowing of all is the white Hoya Bella which you saw in my uh, rooting powder experiment. After 35 days there was not one root that had begun to start on it. Um, let's take a look at it. You see those roots? on that on that stem just unbelievable and this one here is e even has stronger roots started and not only that it formed a pentacle on top which is beginning to butt up now if that doesn't take the cake I I don't know I'm just sort of speechless about it and and I don't even know what it means actually for me and my processes of of rooting Hoyas so I'm just I I'm very excited about it but I've got to figure it I've got to figure it all out because it's like having to rethink rethink everything um, so you can teach a an old dog new tricks apparently I want to thank Betsy Begonia for spur helping to spur this on with the water rooting um, experiment uh, it's just it's very exciting um, I'm going to pot these up in in soil after I'm done with this this video. The Vitalina, 
Um, I don't even know really what to do with that. I don't exactly need another one. I may just leave it in the water bottle and see if the buds will eventually get big enough to open. Um, just as a further experiment. Oh, and here's Hoya obtusifolia, which is since I started to have success in the in the water, I just decided for the heck of it to take a couple cuttings of this. And if you look at this, these roots that form in only two weeks. Um, just shocking. Now I just want to talk about how I did this one more time. I used I did use RO water, which if you don't have an RO system, you could just use distilled water, just something without chlorine. And then I took a single drop of KLN rooting concentrate and I put put it with this little pipette into each container of, of water and that's all I did and I just threw them into my my grow tents and that was it and that's the that's the result here's Hoya sipitangensis and that's only been in there for a week and, and I can already see roots started in there so um 100% um, success with the water rooting experiment and um, like I say I've, I've got to figure it out because it just it's turned my whole way of thinking uh, upside down so that's it and I I hope this uh, means something to you and water rooting absolutely does work and even though they're water roots I'm sure that they will um, will transform into regular roots once I get them potted up into potting soil. So thanks for taking the time and watching and I'll be back really soon with more great tips and plants and that's about it. Thanks again.